We know that vegetarians tend to be slimmer, but there's this perception that veg diets may be somehow deficient in nutrients. So how's this for a simple study? Let's just analyze the diets of 13,000 people and compare the nutrient intake of those eating meat to those eating meat-free diets. They found that those eating vegetarian were getting higher intakes of nearly every nutrient— more fiber, more vitamin A, more vitamin C, more vitamin E, more of the B vitamins, thiamine, riboflavin, folate, more calcium, magnesium, iron, potassium, while at the same time eating less of the harmful stuff like saturated fat and cholesterol. And yes, they got enough protein. And some of those nutrients look, are the ones Americans really struggle to get enough of— fiber, vitamins A, C, and E, calcium, magnesium, potassium. And those eating vegetarian got more of all of them. Even so, though, just because they did better than the standard American diet isn't saying much. They still didn't get as much as they should have. I mean, yes, those eating vegetarian ate significantly more dark green leafy vegetables, but that comes out to just two teaspoons of greens more. In terms of weight management, the vegetarians were consuming, on average, 363 fewer calories every day. That's like what people do when they go on a diet and restrict their food intake. But that seemed just like what vegetarians ate normally. So a vegetarian diet could be considered an all-you-care-to-eat version of a calorie-restricted weight loss diet, naturally inducing weight loss and also helping maintain healthy weight status long term. So just following a vegetarian diet alone, without focusing on calorie reduction, could result in weight loss. How sustainable are more plant-based diets long-term? They are, in fact, among the only type of diets that have been shown to be sustainable long-term, perhaps because not only do people lose weight, but they often feel so much better. And there's no calorie counting or portion control. In fact, vegetarians may burn more calories in their sleep. Those eating more plant-based diets appear to have a 11% higher resting metabolic rate. Both vegetarians and vegans in this study just naturally seem to have a revved-up metabolism compared to those eating meat. Having said that, the vegetarian diet pattern in this study included eating eggs and dairy. So while they were significantly slimmer than those eating meat, they were still, on average, overweight. As we've seen before, the only dietary pattern associated with, on average, an ideal body weight was a strictly plant-based one. Still, this study does help dispel the myth that meat-free diets are somehow nutrient deficient. In fact, in response, the editor-in-chief of the Journal of the American Dietetic Association asked what could be more nutrient-dense than a vegetarian diet. That's about what an interventional study found last year. Put overweight meat eaters on essentially a vegan diet, and they start out at an average of 221 pounds, and lose about 25 pounds a year, ending up at 168 after two years at the end of the study. An average of 53 pounds of sustained weight loss. So eating veg can counteract the forces that lead to obesity and diabetes, though only the vegans were really in the optimal range. Inclusion of even tiny amounts of meat, including fish, in the diet, less than a single serving a week, and you lose a lot of that veg protection. So given the healthy weights of, of most vegans, it's no surprise that they have just a fraction of the diabetes risk. But the researchers did find something that blew their minds. Even after controlling for weight and exercise, and even how much TV they watched, those eating vegan still had half the diabetes risk. So at the exact same weight, the vegan diet just has something that cuts our risk in half. So even obese vegans are still protected.